January the 2nd, 1991, Gary Spock was officially proclaimed world champion for the fourth consecutive time. After a heavy fight, Carlos' golden diamond trophy was presented to him by Michel Noir, the mayor of Lyon. He played Bishop Sissi, I don't know, it's a bone sacrifice. He wanted to, to keep wins, but I won the pawn, you know. Now there is no this dangerous pawn. He, he could uh, combine, you know, this dangerous pawn in the end game and attack. Now there is no pawn, and he cannot use the square for his rook anymore. It's important. And I have only problems here. Okay, fine, it's not... If you have problems in one mm, side, it's not dangerous. So take here. I change knights again, and rook c3. I think its position is equal. Black has enough compensation, and he made a, he should check for, uh, give check first, and then queen a5. He put queen a5 immediately, and after rook d3, really? now black should be very... Uh, black is lost. No, 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 it's not yet lost. I mean, I think the position is still not so clear. Uh, he, he made here another mistake, I think. It says bishop a4, queen e1, uh, probably... I don't remember. Oh, queen c7 was the only move. If bishop c6, queen takes c4. Uh, not clear. I mean, black is worse, but it's not clear. He made a move queen a6. And after this move, he's lost. Queen c bishop c1, he is losing the material. Because if he takes here, I play rook c3. Queen d4, bishop e3. So hanging, hanging. Uh, he uh, made probably the only move. Knight d6, rook a3. Bishop e3. Queen d6. What else? And here I made my move, rook takes a4, and I made a very unique draw for, of a draw, as I said, with the position of the big strengths. So this was a very fair... Uh... Not fair. I mean, I knew the result. I think it's enough. The game was completely won. Black should resign. But people saw it as a very fair thing from your part, because the ma fair. match was very tough, and it was a very fighting style. From yeah, I mean, I, no, no, it was, yes, maybe it was fair, but it, it was a pure decision. I mean... <clears throat> the match was over for me. I just, I played, you know, these two additional games. And I did, I didn't want to win the game. The position is completely winning. He should resign. I have enough, plenty of time in five moves to adjourn. Would resign without an adjournment. The game was won. But, you know, show, I don't need it. Kasparov plays his 36th move and proposes a draw to Kalpov, who is in no position to refuse. So Kasparov wins the match 12 and a match 12.5 to 11.5, demonstrating that he's the strongest player in the world today. And it's good to see the players after the match analysing together. I take this opportunity to, to, to wish Happy New Year for chess fans and then fr French public. And it's, yes, it's already New Year in my country. <laughs> see you guys. As you could see, with our analysis, analysis, so I could win today. I missed better position and good chances to beat Kasparov. Uh, so I played very good game actually, but then I made mistake in in one move. I just uh, wrongly sacrificed pawn. I should protect this pawn, and then I had much better position. So, but this is this is a game. What's so happening? Miss chances. What's happening in three years, according to you? Well, we shall see. We shall see. I will, I will play. I will fight. Do you think you still have chance to beat this this man? Or you start to of have course, a. Of course, why not? What's he? Uh, how how can you beat him? Hmm? Do you have a strategy? How do you know how you can beat him? No. Now first I I uh, have to think about uh, how to beat others, <laughs> and then to make strategy how to beat Kasparov. But I think in this match is. In this uh, last uh, two matches, I had good chances. So I missed in Sevilla, and unfortunately, I missed here. Thank you. I think uh, Kasparov was, uh, was over after uh, game 20, when, which he won. And so if I would be even a little bit more, more lucky, then I could, I could get uh, back all the points difference. Thank you. How can you explain that in critical moments, yes. in all your matches with Karpov, in the critical moment, he collapsed completely? How he doesn't stand the pressure, or you are able to stand the pressure much more than him? It happened in five matches. 
Yes, but in every always game. in the important game. Yes, he lost all important games. But, uh, but once you said that uh, the difference between a great champion and the other is the, this critical moment when you win the game, when you make the decision. Yes, I, I, I can repeat it again. I think Karpov, uh, maybe it's a problem that Karpov never played match against the real, I mean, the champion of his time, Fischer. And that's why he is not ready for the big fight. He never had an opponent of his strengths. And th that's why he wasn't ready for the big match against me in, in the 80s. Oh, I should win several games which I didn't. How do you explain uh, that Karpov was most of the time in time trouble and you had a very good control of your time in the games? That's, that, that, that's the only um, success of my psychological preparation for the match. I mean, I could prepare myself not to, uh, not to uh, waste time and to, to be, I mean, to control my time. Not to just one game, game the game three. I, um, um, uh, wasted my advantage, I mean, being in time trouble. I had a almost winning position. That's all. Normally, I, I had enough time to uh, think about the position, and it's important. And Karpov, he, he's quite heavy now, I understand, as a player. It's, he was a little bit afraid to make a decision, and in every game, I, I was behind him on time. And actually, I think I spent uh, mm, four and a half hours less than Karpov. Four and a half hours. You had already made the conclusion about uh, the hours in this match. Uh, yeah, but someone is, is one of my coaches calculated four and a half hours. So this is a lot because this it, is quite a lot. It means you can make your decisions much quicker than Karpov, and it means you have more confidence in a way. Yes, absolutely. True. What kind of chances? Okay, we. You already changed the I image of chess. It's a big, attractive sport now. Now we have to change rules. I think we should eliminate timeouts. We should think what to do with the joint games, with time control. Maybe it should reduce the length of the match. I uh, uh, believe that we'll have the serious market research, serious research of the game. And 993 will play the match. I will play the match against the challenger under the rules which feed the public, TV, media, and the players. But now. We have competition, not only two main players, but competition of the teams. When you have adjournment, uh, maybe in two years it will be competition of computers during adjournment, because one team would, would uh, use the help of one computer, another team of another. And uh, I believe that uh, we must eliminate these adjournments as much as possible. Me that is, I needed Karpov to, to, to be Kasparov as I am today. He forced me to, to study chess and to, to learn uh, many things, and I forced him. So he improved because he played with me, I improved because I played with him. So this is just mutual influence over each other. Chess is a fight of two, uh, of two uh, different you know, types, you know, and, it's, uh, and maybe it's our fight is. Uh, um, well placed in, at, at the chess board. Spassky is associated with Fischer, and Fischer is associated with Spassky because they played match for the world title. And for 10 years, my name was associated with Skorichna because we were playing for the world title. And now we are playing for seven years already with Kasparov. It's a, it's a great chess player and the only appropriate opponent for me in the chess world. Gary Gasparov, world champion, 1990. FIDE president Florencio Campomanes has just crowned Gary Kasparov world champion for the fourth time in a row. This marathon match, which started in New York, lasted 84 days and the players spent more than 130 hours facing each other. Gary Kasparov will defend his title again in 1993. But who will be there to challenge him? Since 1985, when he became the king of the chess world, he has crushed all opposition in match and tournament play. We must all pay tribute to the courage and tenacity of Anatoly Karpov.